Uh, not so much, yeah. I think it's pretty early on. I could only ha like the suspension only happened last night, so um, there hasn't been much chat about it in the change rooms as of yet. What's your personal take on it? Has it sort of changed the way you're going to approach the bump? Or? Oh, I think um, like players now, they sort of probably have to think about um, when they choose to shepherd and, and bump and stuff like that. It's, it's very instinctive, but I guess, yeah, you need to um, start thinking about um, when you uh, go for that big bump and stuff, so um, I, I definitely don't think the bump's dead, but um, yeah, it's just choosing the right right time to do do those things, uh, shepherd and block and tackle, so yeah. Is there ambiguity? Do, do players know what they're allowed to do? Or do you, as soon as that happens, for example, Richie's case, do, do you know straight away that's, that's trouble or are you uncertain? Oh, well, I think it's more, it's more about the head contact and... Um, uh, if the players hurt and stuff like that, I think um, like the players know that um, like if a player um, doesn't come back on the ground or um, gets knocked out or something like that, there, there might be some repercussions. But um, yeah, I think yeah, you, if you if you bump and it's fair, then you, you think you should be fine. So um, yeah, I don't think like the players are wor that worried. You just gotta yeah, like I said, choose the right right place and if you if you get them um, in the right spot then yeah there won't um, yeah be any repercussions but um, with Richie's one like uh, I'm not sure I think um, th yeah we still think that it was um, shoulder on shoulder but that's uh, yeah that was for the tribunal to discuss and he came away with two weeks. Do you, is it, you worry that the bit of instinct is getting taken out of the game for that because it's pretty hard so that's what's so good about footy? Oh, I think um, now the instinct is like split second and stuff like that. So, like I think that's still there, and like the heat of the battle, like you just do what do what the game needs you. I think um, you can't go away from that. So, I think it's it's still there. It's always going to be there because you get in situations where you're running for a ball or something, and the ball's in between you or something like that. And um, yeah, you just have to make a split decision, and that's always going to be there because you don't have the chance to make that um, the right decision all the time. Sometimes you're going to make the wrong decision, but um, yeah, and then you just got to deal with the consequences after we, afterwards. I think. Do you think that after a couple of wins, the Crows got their mojo back? No, nah, well, look, definitely it was good to get a few wins on the board, but I think we're only building and. Um, we're not getting ahead of ourselves. We, we've got to um, get a few more wins on the board and um, especially focus on this week against the Dogs. Um, another winnable game, I think. Um, we'll go out there and give it a, give it a good crack. So, um, yeah, we're, we're not getting ahead of ourselves, but, yeah, hopefully we can build, build a season and um, get back to an even ledger. And, um, that'll be good to get back to that this week. How are you settling in in the back line? Sando after the game, um, you guys obviously did a good job on uh, Pat and Cameron and, and Boyd sort of said, for you, Shaw and um, Talia was a significant step for the for the future of the Finns. How are you sort of finding things? Yeah, no, nah, it's been really good. Um, obviously, um, late withdrawal truck um, went out of the team, so we just need to step up. That that forward line in the next few years is going to be really good. Three or four years, they're, they're going to be pretty much unstoppable. So to get one up on them now is um, really good. But... Um, yeah, it was great to play. I don't think I've played with Shorey yet, so it was good to play with him and um, get a get a feel on how he plays and um, get a bit of gelling together because we're only going to get better the more games we play together. So, um, yeah, it was really good to have all three of us there and Tiles was outstanding again and um, shut down Cameron and got a bit of the footy as well. So, um, yeah, it was really good. Do you feel like you're sort of complementing each other pretty well? Yeah, I think so. I think... Um, Pretty much all of us um, can play on talls and mediums size. Um, sure, he's great offensively, got a great kick, and um, so is Talia. And um, just the way um, Brody Smith and that are coming along as well, um, Luke Brown, uh, they're young blokes as well. So um, the way that back line's um, developing is um, pretty special, I think. How much do you uh, pick Darren Milburn's right about how to go about it? Uh, a fair bit, like as everyone knows, he's. He was a great player and um, he was inside a great footy club. Um, so every chance you get, like, we spend a lot of time with him. Um, and he, he is uh, been really good for us. Like, he gives us ton tons and tons of knowledge and uh, he's very relaxed. So um, that, that helps as well with the young boys, I think. Um, he gets, um, he's really, really easy to get along with and um, relate to. How do you stop the doggies this week, Cole? 
um, kick more goals than them. But uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I think they've got a really good midfield. Um, Liberatore, um, Griffin, Boyd, Cooney. So I think if we can get on top there and um, get it down to our forwards, like J Josh Jenkins has been kicking goals the last few weeks. If Danger can rest forward and kick a few, few goals this week, I think um, it's probably going to be a bit of a battle um, in the midfield. And if we can get on top there and get inside 50 and hold it in, um, I think if we can hold it inside our forward 50 um, for the majority of the game and put the pressure on, then uh, I think um, we're, we're going to be a good chance of winning the game. But um, also, lock, we've got to lock down their forwards. And um, yeah, like the Liam Jones, um, he's, he's been getting into a bit of form lately. So uh, him and Stuart Kramer is always dangerous. So I think it's going to be another big task for uh, the young back line. And um, yeah, so there's different parts of the game, but I think the midfield is going to be the biggest part. Who are you likely to take? I'm not sure yet. I haven't spoken to uh, haven't spoken to Dash about who I'm playing on this week. That'll probably be more tomorrow. Um, main training um, we've got, so probably work on things that we're, the players we're going to play on. We'll work on the things that we're going to do to um, stop them. Did you do any work out there with Tex one on one just to see how he's going? Yeah, well, just a little bit earlier in the um, season, I uh, had a little bit of a hamstring strain, uh, so I was coming back from that and. Uh, Tex was obviously come back from his knee, so we did a bit of rehab work together and one-on-one -on -one stuff. And uh, he's a real competitive beast, and um, as you know, a very good player. So um, yeah, I did a bit of work with him, and he he's also really good for me because he gives me a f um, forwards aspect on how to beat um, good players and things I can do to um, yeah defensively to beat good players. So um, yeah, he gives me a lot of pointers and always chips in if he thinks I need to do something better. So um, he's great, not just offensively, but he gets around the young boys and helps out and um, gives you little tips along the way. Is that something your defenders do often to understand better how opposition should go about it? Like you say with Tex, but does, does the whole group sort of do that thing, playing on someone like Tex or Eddie or Pods? Yeah, I think so. It's especially this pre-season getting Pods and Eddie, um, when Tex hasn't been on the um, field, um, Pods has been uh, a great mentor. He's been around a long time. So uh, for me, I do I sit down and do my edits with um, Pods every week, and he goes through and gives me the forwards aspect about my positioning. Um, and I know for Luke Brown, Rory Laird over the preseason, like, coming to training and playing on Eddie Betts, one of the best small small forwards in the game. Every training session, that just gives you every confidence when you go out and play against. Um, other teams, small forwards that you've been competing against these guys at training, so why can't you do it on the game day? So, yeah, for them coming into the club and passing on their knowledge and being able to play on the good players, I think it's really benefited our group. How big is this game, Cole? I mean, the Bulldogs have got a great record against the Crows recently. How, yep. do you, you know, how big is this match for you guys to get even with the Legion? Yeah, well, it's, it's really big. Like, we, uh, we obviously really want to win. Um, we want to get back to the 3-3 three and three Ledger and... Um, I'm, I'm not aware of the record, but um, yeah, we'll just take it in our take it uh, in our stride, and we'll go over to Melbourne, and um, yeah, we'll have obviously our meetings of how we're going to beat them, and we'll do our best to implement them, and uh, hopefully we can come away with the win. Uh, I'm not sure. He's, um, he'll probably do main session tomorrow, and um, they'll just judge it from there. Oh, you had uh, I think it was five intercept marks at the weekend as well. So all that work you've done with pods or you know, the other blokes, is that I mean, such an important thing to, to be creators or not just to spoil or whatever, or to, you know, to, to do that sort of stuff? Does that come from working with those sort of blokes? Or? Yeah, definitely. Um and also it's come from uh, the coaches. We've done a lot of work um, on uh, helping out each other in the back line. We're only a young group, so every chance we can get to come off um, our opponent um, when, when it's obviously... Um, we're able to, uh, to come and help out a teammate um, and get a two on one. Um, every chance we get, we try and do that. So it was good to be able to come across and help out Talia and stuff because he was on Jeremy Cameron. And um, I think that's been a big uh, focus point in the, over the last few weeks. So uh, yeah, I just tried to do that and it came off on the weekend. I was going to say, it'd be fair to assume that it's part of Sando's push to, to not be defensive, not be reactive, to, to still play attacking footy. Yeah. That, that, yeah, definitely.